Hi, I am Ashutosh and I am the product expert for the Project Planning Pro app. Project Planning Pro is an app that allows you to create, import, edit and share project plans on iPad. In the next 15 minutes, I am going to speak about how to create a plan, how to import a plan, how to edit a plan and how to share a plan using Project Planning Pro app. Let us get started by creating a plan. Tap on this plus icon. Tap on create plan. Enter plan name. Choose start date. Enter author. Both these fields are optional. Tap on OK. Our plan has been created. Now let us add some tasks to this plan. I have added three tasks in this plan. Task 1, task 2 and task 3. Now I want task 1 to be the summary task or the parent task of the task 2 and task 3. So I will require to indent task 2 and task 3. I will tap on this gear icon and tap on the button indent. Same I will do with task 3. Now my task 1 has become the summary task of task 2 and task 3. All these three tasks I can see in the Gantt view. Each task is denoted by a Gantt bar. I will move the Gantt right or left to change the start date or end date of the task. More task level options are given in the edit feature. I can edit the task in three ways. Tap on this Gantt bar and it gives me the option to edit the task. I can also change the percentage completion here. Another way to edit is double tap on the task name and the edit screen appears or tap on gear icon provided and choose the option edit task. Change the duration. You can change percent completion. Enter notes. I can set the task as milestone using this on off switch. I can also assign predecessor to this task. I will enter the task ID. There are four types of predecessors, finish to finish, finish to start, start to finish and start to start. I can choose the one that I want. I can also add lead lag also. There are two types of scheduling modes, manual and auto. Auto scheduling mode will automatically schedule the task. In the resource tab, I can assign resource to the task. I can create a resource sheet also. So I will add new tasks, new resources here. There are three more fields, email ID, cost per use and cost per hour. I will enter the email ID. The email ID allows me to intimate the user or ask the user or the resource about the status of the task that has been assigned to him. Cost per use is the one time cost of the user or the resource and the cost per hour is the per hour cost of the resource which will be assigned to the resource.
choose the resource and tap on OK. When I assign resources to the task, the cost is calculated automatically. So the cost column will display the cost of the task as well as the task uh, cost of the summary task. If I want to change the order of the tasks, I will use the reorder option. Tap on the gear icon. The reorder task option is visible. We can tap on that option or simply long tap on the task and we are in the reorder mode. Drag the task to change the order. So now my task 2 has become the last task in the list. When I move a task, my entire data related to that task will be moved. Long tap again to get out of the reorder mode. I have two more features, filter and the bird's eye view to easily navigate the through the larger plan. So let us see both these features in a larger plan. I will save this plan. I can see my newly created plan in the list. Let us open sample software development plan. Tap on the filter icon. It gives me the number of columns by which I can filter the, filter the plan. Choose the column and enter the value. Tap on filter. It has filtered the tasks. This filter task can be shared as a PDF or as a CSV in export option. Let us clear the filters to see all the tasks. Tap on the bird's eye view icon. I can navigate easily across this large plan in this bird's eye view. Now let us see how to import the plan. There are three ways by which I can import plans, Dropbox, email and iTunes. I can import only .xml files which are created from MS project or which are created by Project Planning Pro app itself or .ppp files which have been created in the Project Planning Pro app. To open or import the plans using email, open the email and long tap the attachment and choose the option open in planning pro the plan will be imported to import the plan using the dropbox tap on dropbox option and it asks for entering the username and password To import plans using Dropbox, tap on Dropbox. If it asks to enter the username and password, please enter username and password to get connected to the Dropbox. We recommend that users create Gantt XML folder inside the root folder of the Dropbox and upload the XML or PPP files in, in that folder for better performance. So I can see here the list of plans in the Dropbox, uploaded in the Dropbox. Choose the file and tap on download. I can see here the file that I have downloaded. The icon before the plan name denotes whether the plan has been imported or the plan has been created. If plan is imported using Dropbox, I can see this type of icon. Email icon will be for the plans imported using the email. I shall open the plan and all the features that were available while creating a plan are available here. I can reorder task. I 
I can edit task. I can filter tasks and I can navigate through this bigger plan using the bird's eye view. Project Planning Pro allows me to import the data from 20 fields. This is extremely impossible. Uh, this is extremely important. This is important from the point of view of the professional project managers. Important to view plans imported from MS project with correct data in those fields. I can view the plan using calendar view. I can view the critical path view. I can see the resource view as well. I can share the plan in four ways XML document, PDF document, CSV document, and PPP file. XML document can be shared using email or can be exported to the Dropbox. This XML file can be opened in MS project on the PC or can be opened in the Project Planning Pro This XML file can be opened in MS project on the PC or can be opened in the Project Planning Pro app. The PDF document allows me to export my PDF, my plan in the PDF format. There are two options, either export as a single page or export as a multiple page. CSV document allows me to export the task view of the plan and PPP file allows me to export the plans to other iPad devices where Project Planning Pro app has been installed. So there are many unique features provided in the Project Planning Pro app. It allows me to import data in 20 fields, exports plans back to MS project with 100% data accuracy. It supports four types of predecessors, interactive Gantt to change duration or start end date and assign relationships. Powerful scheduling engine to auto or manual scheduling the tasks. Resource notification. Multiple sharing options. It has bird's eye view for easy navigation. Resource, task and project cost calculations. The app is available to download in the app store. Please visit planningproapp.com for more details. Let us now begin with the question and answer session. Thank you.